Hi, I'm Adrian Cox, and this is an introduction to Conscious Connected Breathwork. Conscious Connected Breathwork is a breathing practice that involves a very simple inhalation followed by an immediate exhalation followed by an immediate inhalation sustained over time it is conscious connected and continuous breathing for a period of time that can lead people to incredible states of insight healing and release when I came to this practice initially, I had a very long background of teaching yoga and pranayama for about 25 years. Despite all the methods and tools that I had at my disposal at this time, I found that I wasn't able to let go of some emotions that were particularly weighing me down. I found in it a healing modality that was far more loving, more powerful, and less oriented towards a technique than anything that I had ever found. It is the ultimate in simplicity and the most honest, most natural way I know of to find yourself coming to a new understanding about who you are, about the joy of living, and about the joy of yourself. You may be in a similar position. You may be someone who needs to release something. It could be thoughts that have been going around in your head for too long, could be emotions that are heavy, feeling like of a dense energy that's not letting you go. Or you could be wanting to open up to greater levels of creativity, new found self-love, a new relationship with life itself. And that is all possible by forming a new relationship with your breath. When we go through our lives, we tend to hold our emotions back that we find too difficult to feel. We also simultaneously may resist incoming energy or incoming love because we feel at some level that we may not be good enough. That kind of restriction in our emotions shows up in the breath that becomes a restricted breathing pattern. Connected breathing is an antidote for restricted breathing. It begins this flow of breathing and energy in such a way that can make a very profound in difference in how you relate to yourself, relate to energy, relate to life. Let's take a look at how you do it. Firstly, how do you do the inhalation? The inhalation is done in such a way where you are saying yes to more breath. You're saying yes to more energy. And that's both a physical thing and that's also an attitude shift. I work with people about the body part of it in particular. Like how do you get more breath in your body comfortably? The shorthand version of it without seeing you is that you want to be breathing from your belly to your chest and particularly lifting the breath into the upper chest so much so that your collarbones are lifting up. So if you placed one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest and you take a deep breath in, that you fill as much as you can. This is the kind of breathing that we'll be doing with this technique. And again, at an attitude level, maybe tipping your head back and bringing in what it is that you would like to see change in your life for the better. The exhale is about 
letting go. That is on two levels as well. So when you let go physically, you are simply relaxing the breath out. And that's a natural thing to do anyways. We can relax the breath like the way the diaphragm will just recoil back into shape and the lungs will naturally let the breath fall out. I don't need any effort to exhale, right? If I breathe in and let the breath fall out and then breathe in and let the breath fall out, I'm doing connected breathing. So as you breathe out, I want you to have the attitude that you are letting go. Letting go of grudges, letting go of thoughts, letting go of sadness, letting go of blocks, however you perceive them. You let go, let go, and let go. One way to practice this that you can use right now is to simply sigh and use sound. Although we don't use sound necessarily in the technique of conscious connected breath work, if you take a few sighs, you'll notice how it feels good right away. Maybe you want to join me. Let's do three times. Breathe in through the mouth. <sighs> That's the kind of attitude you want to bring when you exhale with conscious connected breath work. Imagine that you're standing at the shore of a beach. You look down at your feet and you see the waves coming in and you see that wave going out. This is like you inhaling, you breathing in, the wave comes in, you breathe out, the wave goes out, just like that. And when you see that the little wave is going out, then you look further out into the distance and you see that there's another wave coming in. There's always a wave coming in. In the same way that your breath, there's always another inhale coming in. With this technique, the attitude is that you can't wait for the next inhale. You're just looking forward to the next inhale. It's like an infinity symbol. There's the exhale without any pause, the inhale starts. And then there's an exhale and then the next inhale starts. They're always going one after the other without any pause, right? Even through the exhalation, you have this anticipation, excitement, or enthusiasm that there's going to be another inhale coming in. And that is how you connect the breath one after the other. That technique sustain over time can be challenging. So for a variety of reasons, what happens is that that simple technique will start to reflect things or material that's coming up in the mind to be released and it will show up in the breathing. So let's talk about how to continue with this technique. If you have a short amount of time in the day without any guidance, you could do say 20 of these breaths and use it as a way to let go of what's been bothering you at that time and to hit reset and to open up and refresh to get some creative energy to flow through you. 
If you'd like to go for a deeper, more profound level of experience, you may want to have a breath mentor sitting next to you, guiding the experience. And the reason for this is, is that while the technique is quite simple and you probably understand it, what is challenging is to maintain it. What people tend to do over time is a few different things. They may stop the breathing for a variety of reasons, or they may start to push the exhale out, or they may start to inhale less. And that can take reminders because quite frankly, that's where the unconscious starts to reveal itself. So when you have a breath mentor sitting next to you, then they keep you th pulling you through this experience, which is what is needed in order to reach the truly profound level of healing. A typical breathwork session is in two parts. One is activation, the other is integration. Activation is about essentially pulling up from your unconscious mind, your subconscious mind, the aspects of yourself that you've identified that have limited you. The places where you feel that you may not be good enough. The places where you have been carrying around unnecessary burden. And that's done both through inquiry and through the breathing. A session as it begins will begin with this check-in with you, how you are. And following that, then this practice begins of the conscious connected breath work. You'll lay down usually and begin breathing. And your breathwork mentor will guide you to maintain it. As you do, the energy starts to build over time. 10, 20, 30 minutes, this energy line starts to rise up and as it gets in usually around 20 30 minutes there will be a peak and at that peak there can be a release of material that comes from your deeper self or your nervous system and with that release can come insights, understandings, tears, laughter. I've seen all kinds of things. For me, there, I, I remember totally bawling my eyes out like a little baby in the lap of my teacher. And that stuff I have been carrying around for a long, long time. So when I got to that peak, then what follows for you as well is a period of relaxation where it's no longer needed to maintain the technique. It will be quite obvious. You'll probably have your eyes closed and just relaxing. And with that, there can be new insights, new understandings as you take in the information. Following this period of when the session is actually over, integration continues. Because if you have some understanding about who you are, how you've been, how you've been relating to yourself, how you've been relating to other people, the best thing that you can do is to put it into practice. Not necessarily to make a big decision right away, but if it involves about, say, something that 
you consistently put into practice, you're integrating what it is that you have learned, then this is an incredible path for healing and self-growth and really moving along a continuum to reach your potential. Those two sides is called an energy cycle. Activation, integration. And when you have completed an energy cycle, then you may want to return for another cycle of breath work so that you keep breathing and integrating, breathing and integrating. With that, I invite you to reach out if you have more questions, comments, or insights. And if you'd like to book a session, please do so at breathyoga.org. And I look forward to getting to know you.